Hey guys, this is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall be talking about time series forecasting in Excel. Well, time series forecasting or time series analysis is one of the most important parts in machine learning and when it comes to predictive analytics. But it has been seen that time series forecasting or analysis is often neglected. But I'm not neglecting it. I already have so many videos related to time series forecasting in Power BI, in Python, where I've talked about numerous algorithms like Arima, LSTM, Facebook Profit. I have also talked about XGBoost, uh, Regressor, how to do time series forecasting using XGBoost. So many videos. Simply, if you don't find the videos on my channel, just search the name like time series forecasting Satyajit, time series analysis Satyajit time series XGBoost Satyajit. Provide my name, you'll definitely get the videos on the top uh, top of the search results and that will help me as well. Well, let's get started on this topic which is going to be time series forecasting in Excel. Well, uh, before getting into the exact thing or how to implement time series forecasting, if you are not aware of time series, I'm repeating it again please go ahead, watch out my other videos, have the concepts clear and then come back to this video. In this video, we shall be seeing how time series forecasting can be performed in Excel. Well, there are two options. Are you doing it in MS Excel or are you doing it in Google Sheets? Well, in MS Excel, after 2016, there has been a new update where you can easily go ahead and forecast. I unfortunately don't have MS Excel 2016. I have an older version of it, which is 2013. So I'll not be using Excel. Instead, I will be using Google Sheets to perform forecasting. So this is my air passengers data. As you can see, I have month and passengers. Starting from 1949 January till 1960 December, almost 12 years of data. Now let's assume that you want the next six months data or next six months prediction. What we can do is here I'm just adding six records. Just clicking and dragging it. That's it. So I have my new dates ready. Simple. Here I want to forecast. But instead of this column, I will be using another column like this i will just format it and i will create a new column where i will name it as forecast simple okay i leave all the cells empty but here let me just uh, create a table out of it simple now here i want the forecasted values why i am not forecasting on this column because i want to show my actual versus forecast in a separate colors okay if you want, you can do it on the same cell as well. So here I will be calling the forecast function. As you can see, there are two options forecast expected Y value based off linear regression and forecast dot linear expected Y value based off linear regression. They both are almost same in nature here using linear regression. We will be doing a forecast and it's not the right algorithm to be very honest. But this is just an option in Excel. Of course, if you ask me whether Excel's forecasting is strong or Python or Power BI, definitely the answer has to be power, uh, Python because in Python, there are so many libraries, so many flexibilities to deal with the data. So here, let's not deviate with the topic. We'll call forecast linear. There are three attributes which, have, which has to be passed. The first one is going to be my cell a145 that means what is my last date because that based on that i will be predicting the next value comma here i will pass all the values from the beginning till the end of passengers that's my y variable the column which you are going to predict so i will be doing p2 colon b145 that means I'm just selecting from B2 till B145. Comma, I will select all the dates A2 colon A145 and brackets close. Simple. Once this is done, simply drag it here. That's it. So all your forecasting is ready. Let's say you want to add six more records. 
let's say you want to do one year forecasting simply i will just copy this and just drag it on i will just format it done so i have my number of passengers column and i have my forecasted values simple now our next target is to select the records and insert a line chart simple i'll go to insert i'll go to chart and you can see automatically i am able to select the chart and here if i select this i will just try to minimize it so that we are able to see everything on single page you can see now okay this looks better now you can see on the blue line in the axis i have different dates of course from 1949 till 1960 on the axis but i also have 1961 january 1961 december uh, 1961 may like from may and from january till december 12 months and you can see the forecast is a linear graph simple if i have to explain the functionality i hope everybody knows about this thing we are using linear regression technique to do a forecast simple so how does linear regression works everybody knows about it i don't have to talk you can see there is a linear trend right and based on this linear trend this is how the forecasting looks like linear regression based on the principles of linear regression this algorithm is working not the best but this is one of the options in excel in case uh, you know you don't you never know you can be asked about some interview questions how can we forecast on excel you should be able to answer these things so that is all about this forecasting video i hope you enjoyed it even if it was not that beneficial but i hope i try to add some knowledge to your existing knowledge if you like it please like share and subscribe the channel and please uh, press the bell icon to get notified on my future videos that's it from my side i'll be coming with a lot of videos in case you have a requirement don't hesitate to comment down in the comment sections i read each and every comment any request reach me out and i will create a video on it thank you guys see you bye bye